Say the KLX 250 is too underpowered, too slow, too heavy, too sluggish. But how much power do you really need? Can it keep up with the big dogs, the big boars, the big mean machines? Well, that is really up to you. But to me, and what I have seen, the KLX 250 is a reliable enduro machine that is heavy on the scales, but light on your feet. Easy throttle control for the gnarliest of situations. of the trail. Uh, I don't know, I guess I'll go this side. Besides it being an underpowered puppy dog that needs some kind of steroid shot, this machine has a secret weapon. One is the cost that you can get this bike at, and two is the number of 50,000 mile top ends people have reported with no issues still going on. Think of it like the ultimate underpowered enduro machine that will just keep ticking and will forever be by your side. No, it's not ideal for high elevation runs and very steep hill climbs, but this machine will never leave your side and will never leave you stranded. Oh man, <laughs> almost at the end. At the end? This thing's got an end? <laughs> Damn, that looks steep. Yeah. This looks steep. Wow. Rock and kill <laughs> It, it is pretty technical. Oh shit. We made it. Uh, you okay? I'm trying to find the trail. I kind of lost the trail. Oh, there you are. Yeah. Yeah, this was really tough for me too, right here. Yeah, you got a path through it. I see your path. I'm just, I'm just too wide. I keep sliding off. I keep sliding off into that hole right there. Oh, I see. That's my problem. I think if you put your top, oh, and then you got this big ass rock, and yeah. The only thing I can say is maybe right here, but I don't know if you're gonna slide this way because that's really soft. Yeah. 